So aging, of course, is uh, of a spirit in oak, usually. Um, goes hand in hand with what many people think of in terms of distillation. So if you think of whiskey, brandy, some rums, some tequilas. But there has been a lot of emphasis on trying to accelerate aging. And this has really been driven by the smaller um, distillers. If you imagine that you've already got stock that you're taking out having aged it and you're replenishing it with new stuff, as an established producer, you may not have much interest in fast maturation. It's a barrier to entry for the new guys. I don't see anything inherently wrong with fast aging. I think it could be difficult to match a conventionally aged product to a fast aged product. But if you're making a new brand, there's no history to that brand. So uh, it gives you an opportunity to perhaps be more responsive, ease your cash flow burdens and so forth. I have heard um, there's one technology out there, which I, I won't name, but uh, the inventor said, I can make 10 year old rum or new make rum. But I can't get anything in the middle. So the aging process just gives it a bit something that tastes around 10 years old.